Let's graph a parabola that's been given in vertex form. In order to do this, the first thing we have to do is find the vertex, h and k. The h in this case is a positive 2 and the k is a negative 3. So the vertex is at 2, negative 3, which means that the axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals 2. Next, let's find another point that happens to be on this particular parabola. Since my vertex is at 2, negative 3, why not see what's at 0? So I'm going to plug in 0 for x, and we will finish the rest of the equation. So close it and square minus 3. And then we're going to follow order of operations to find out what coordinate pair starts with 0. So y will equal 2 times negative 2 squared minus 3. Then by order of operations, the next thing I need to do is square the negative 2. Remember that a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. So this is going to become 2 times 4 minus 3. Next I'll do the multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8, so I'm going to get y equals 8 minus 3 which means that the y value will be 5. What this tells me is that 0, 5 is another point that lies on this particular parabola. So let's grab some tools, use a straight edge to create an x and y axis, I'll kind of center it here on my graph paper. So there's my y axis, and here comes a nice x axis. I'm going to begin by plotting my vertex and my axis of symmetry. So my vertex again was at 2, negative 3. And it's always a good idea to label it, since I know with my a being positive that the vertex is at the bottom of this parabola, I'm going to put the label down below. Now I'm going to use a dotted line to draw in my axis of symmetry. That gives me that nice symmetrical shape. And it's also good to include the equation x equals 2 for my axis of symmetry. Now what I can do is start finding other points that happen to lie on my parabola. Since we found that 0, 5 was a point on our parabola, what we can do is plot the point 0, 5. And because I know the axis of symmetry is like a mirror, I'm going to count how far away that point is from the axis, which is 2, and count 2 more out, and put out its mirror image. Don't forget to label it with its coordinate pair. So that means I actually am out now 4 with a height of 5. So 4 or 5 is a, another point that's on the parabola. I should also find two more points. So what we can do is plug in 1 and find out what the y value will be. And again, use the axis of symmetry to get its mirror point. So let's take the point 1 and plug it in for x in our original vertex equation. So if I come up and I put in the 1, 2 times 1 minus 2 quantity squared minus 3, Let's see, that'll be y equals 2 times negative 1 quantity squared minus 3, which will be y equals 2 times 1 minus 3, which will be y equals 2 minus 3. So the y value will be negative 1, which means that the point 1 negative 1 was another point that was on the parabola. So you can see that my parabola went through there, and again I count from the mirror image to find that the point 3, negative 1 is another point on my parabola. It's always nice to give the vertex and then four additional points 
that have mirror images to the axis of symmetry.